Well, joining us now is Ivy Williams. She's within the HR department at Essel Pro Pack here in the city of Danville. And Ivy, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, I know you all are taking part in the mock interview process here today at George Washington High School. How have the interviews gone so far for you today? They've gone wonderful. I've talked to uh, two young ladies so far, and both of them did a wonderful job. Great. Now, what are you looking for as you conduct these interviews uh, to help these students out as they move forward out into the real world? I'm looking for someone that's confident, uh, who can present themselves well, and who understands what an employer is looking for, which is someone basically with a good work ethic and the skills that we have been looking for in that position. Now, what are some of the type, types of the questions that you're asking to kind of gather that information that you'll need to take back to Essel as if this were a real interview? Just what their goals are in life, what qualifications they have, what they think an employer is looking for in an employee, and what how they would describe themselves. Now, is this the first year that you all have taken part in the Mock Interview Day? This is the first year that I've taken part in the, in the Mock Interview Day. Now, Ivy, why do you feel it's so important that Essel Pro Pack and companies here in the city of Danville participate in a Mock Interview Day such as you're taking part in here today? Well, I feel that students, when they're in high school, they do not get the practice that they need in order to go out and have real-life situa- real experiences to interview. Right. I know when I was in high school, we had career day, but we didn't get to have interviews, and so we really weren't prepared when we left high school. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for these students to get that real-life experience. Yes. Now, for our viewers who may not be familiar with Essel Pro Pack, I know you produce laminated tubes. Some of the toothpaste tubes that we buy off the shelves mm-hmm. at our local department stores are produced right here in Danville. Can you give us a little insight without going into too much detail about what you all do there at the plant at Essel Pro Pack? We get the artwork from the customers. We put the artwork on the laminate material. We form the laminate material into a tube. We ship it out to the customers, all within their specifications, all within the time frame that the customer needs it so they can get their product out their doors in time, and also just serving our customers the best way that we can. Now, is it just toothpaste tubes that are manufactured at Essel, or is it a wide variety of products? We have a wide variety of products. We also do hair products. We do body lotions, soaps, and a lot. I mean, also denture cream and so forth. Right. Now, how many employees do you all have out at Essel currently? Right now at Essel Pro Pack, we have about 215 employees. Um, our subsidiary plant in Danville, Aristotubes, has about 50 employees. Well, Ivy, thank you so much for joining us today and taking the time out of the busy schedule here during the interview process to uh, give our viewers a little insight into uh, your interviewing process here today. Thank you. Joining us now is Jameer Williams, who took part in the mock interview day process uh, here at George Washington High School and is a, a member of the career and technical program here at GW. And Jameer, tell me a little bit about uh, why you decided to take part in this mock interview process today. Basically to show my skills to future business leaders and to show that anybody can do anything they put their mind to. And um, also to show that, you know, I've been down and out there on, um, I can come up, show my confidence in a new thing. Absolutely. Now, being a career and technical student here, I know you've taken part in a lot of different uh, programs and studies here. Give our viewers a little insight on what you've learned as being a part of the career and technical program here at George Washington High School. Well, basically, I have learned how to just start my own business and how to be a team player and to be a leader whenever I need to do something important. Basically, in my part, I have been the um, VP of marketing and also the sales advertisement. And basically, I have to make sure my partners do the website and to get the products and to get the sale prices and make sure everybody else is doing their part. So basically, I learned how to be a leader and to show how to do my work and to help others out with theirs, too. And what class was all of this learned in here at the Career and Technical Program? It was on um, Virtual Enterprise with Ms. Gore Six Period. Right. Now, what was the company that you all formed? Flip City. All right, tell me a little bit about Flip City. Flip City is basically a company that does flip-flops. Oh, great. Very good. Now, I know you haven't had your interview yet, but what are you looking forward to as you take part in the interview process here today? I'm um, just basically um, ready to show the people who's interviewing me that I'm a young black man trying to show, um, be successful in life and that I really am trying to be up there in the world and be a successful rich man. Now, I know you all have really prepared for this day. Tell me a little bit about that preparation process. Uh, we brought some stuff on um, resumes. We went over a little bit of what we need to do for our interview, our handshake, our posture, what do we need to do, what we not need to do. And um, a little bit about your resume as well. Yes, sir. Perfect. And I know, do you always wear a tie, a suit and tie to school every day? Not every day, but on special occasions I do. Very good. So dressing sharp is one thing that you all learned that will really impress these interviewers today. Yes, sir. Very good. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. you coming on today's show. Have a nice day.
Joining us now is Kevin Payne, who also took part in the mock interview day here and also is taking part in the uh, career and technical programs here at George Washington High School. And, Kevin, um, have you already had your interview today? Yes, I have. Now, tell me a little bit about how that went for you. Um, it went really well. It was a good learning experience. Very good. Now, what all did you learn in that interview that you can move, uh, take forward as you move into the uh, real world, I guess I'll say? Um, I learned what to expect from uh, the questioner and how to answer in a efficient way. Great. Now tell me about uh, the preparation process for that interview. What all did you all do in your classroom studies to prepare for this day? Uh, we learned how to write a resume, a cover letter, um, to include a thank you note afterwards. Now when you were taking part in that interview process, what are some of the things that were going through your mind as those questions were being asked? Um, just how can I answer these so I sound as good as possible? Right. Do you think you did a good job? Yes, I think I did. Oh, very good. Now, tell me a little bit about some of the uh, programs that you're taking part in here at the Career and Technical Program at uh, George Washington High School. Um, I'm currently in the engineering program, great. and it's a four-year program, ninth through twelfth grade. Oh, great. And you learn more each year about the field of engineering. Now, what would you like to uh, do as you move forward, uh, heading to college? Yes, I'm going to college. Very good. Have you made up your mind yet where you'll be heading? Um, I'm start out. At, I'm going to start out at DCC. Right. Very good. Two years and then head off to a university. Right. Sounds good. Now, are you also in the robotics program? Yes, I am. Tell me a little bit about that program, because I know we've done some uh, stories on that before. Um, well, it starts out in January, and they give us a challenge. It's different every year, and we have to build a robot in six weeks that can perform to that challenge. Great. Stephen, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today, and glad your interview went well. Thank you. All right. Joining us now is Zach Moxley, who is also a member of the Career and Technical Program here at George Washington High School. And, Zach, uh, I know you already had your interview. Now, tell me a little bit about how that went. It went great. I I, inter I got interviewed by Jerry Franklin, who is the uh, head of the RCAT department at DCC, and I, overall it went fairly well. It, now, was, it was great. Now, I know for about six weeks you all prepared for this day. How do you think preparing all those weeks assisted you in today's interview? Well, we started off uh, with the resume, and uh, we had to include all of our ex past experiences. I have robotics experience, and I've been in the uh, four-year engineering program, here at GW, right. and uh, our cover letter, which um, g to show life experience right, right. It, in, in, in that. Yeah. Now, how important is that, do you feel, life experience and your previous background? As you head out into the real world, I'm sure you'll be heading off to college uh, yeah. soon, but uh, as you go for that first job interview, how do you think that plays into uh, getting that first job? I think past leadership experiences and uh, uh, the different variety of of experiences uh, can can assist you later on in life. Absolutely. Now I know I've talked to a lot of individuals today that are in this career and technical program. How do you think it's prepared you for the real world over the last four years? I know you said you've been in the engineering program, but you're also taking part in robotics. A lot of different things you're doing within the career and technical program here at George Washington High School. Well, it's it. There's a lot of experience with uh, manufacturing and uh, development. Uh, a lot of creativity and. Things like that that, that go on. And you mentioned that uh, Jerry Franklin interviewed you, so it's all about making contacts, I know. And uh, have you been out to the RCAT facility? Yes, I've actually uh, uh, taken a class there, an intro to plastics class. Great. So that was, that was a great experience as well. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and, and great job with the interview. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of individuals that are making this day happen here at the Career and Technical Center here at George Washington High School. And one of those is the NJROTC program. And we're joined by Nick Piccolo, who is a member of the NJROTC. And, Nick, uh, what are some of you all's responsibility here during the mock interview day? Well, sir, we're helping escorting people, their interviewers, and the people that are getting interviewed. And we're pretty much just doing whatever they tell us to do. That's great. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, the NJROTC program here at George Washington High School and what you all are preparing for. Well, sir, um, we do a lot of stuff here. We have teams, athletic team, drill team, color guard. We do things for school, community service. We have summer camps, and we just do a bunch of stuff. And then you, are you going to head into the military after high school? Yes, sir. Um, doing NJRC, you don't have to go in the military, no requirement, but most people do want to. Right. So has it been fun for you to take part in the mock interview day? I know you're not being interviewed, but at least you're being around this. Are, are you a senior here? No, sir, I'm a sophomore. Okay, great. So I guess it's a good experience for you just to be a part of the day in and of itself. Yes, sir. 
All right, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of the City Update. What a wonderful experience for these students uh, within the career and technical education program here at George Washington High School. We've got some great hands-on experience today about uh, taking part in a job interview, and hopefully that experience will bode them well as they head out into the real world after college or maybe right after high school. Hopefully some of these employers will uh, be hiring them in the near future. So until next time, have a great day.